In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. So I welcome you all to this Holy Eucharistic celebration as we are here to thank and praise the Lord in this Eucharistic celebration. We happily welcome all being here on who is graduating from our school this year. So let us congratulate him. And uh, let us also pray in this Mass for all his success in the future. May God continue to bless him and strengthen him in his life. As we pray for him, let us think about our own uh, sinfulness and follies. And ask pardon to the Lord, saying, I confess to Almighty God, God, who made the world and all that is in it, 
the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he is anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone else of embrys and breath and everything. He made from the whole, one of the whole embrys to dwell on the entire surface of the, of the earth. And he fixed the order of seasons and, and the boundaries of the religious religions, so that people might seek God, even perhaps grow for him and find him. Through indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and more uh, and have our being. And even some of your poets have said, For we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think of the divinity like an image, fashioned from gold, silver, or stone, by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he has demanded now his demand is that all people everywhere repent, because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through the man he has appointed. And he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, We should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some of the join and became believers. Among them were Diocese, a member of the court of Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athenians and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response was your soul. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him as you, his angels. Praise him as you, his hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all of the peoples and princes and princes of all the judges of the earth, young men too, and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. things that are coming. 
he will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you everything that the father has is mine and for this reason i told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you the gospel of the lord I will not leave you orphans. Jesus said to his disciples when he was talking to them about his trials, about his crucifixion, about the bad things that that is going to come along his life. Amidst this struggle, Jesus gave a promise to his own disciples. I will not leave you orphans. I will not desert you or abandon you. That's a promise Jesus gave to his disciples and he makes sure that he, the disciples understand his words. Therefore today in the gospel he says, I will give you the spirit of truth, the advocate when he comes he will guide you to all truth and jesus in the gospel today very clear he wants his disciples to understand if i leave you will benefit because if only i leave the holy spirit will come upon you so jesus was stressing this point again and again to the disciples so the advocate finally came upon the disciples on the day of pentecost which we would be celebrating after two weeks so from that day there was a lot of change in the manner and character of the disciples of jesus christ they were cowards they were so afraid they locked their rooms and hid themselves but after the pentecost after the descent of the holy spirit they were able to stand against the sanity and boldly say whom do we obey to be obey god or men and that they said we will obey only god so that strength they received from the holy spirit and that is the holy spirit jesus is promising to us in the gospel today listen to the spirit and whatever that i have the spirit will give you and the spirit will declare to you so what jesus says is pray to the spirit today it is the advocate and jesus never leaves us out of abandonness through the spirit he is with us by the spirit when the bread and wine is consecrated he is with us and when we pray and he is with us when we are baptized the spirit comes to us and he is with us and when we are confirmation and the spirit comes to us and that's what jesus says today in the gospel listen to the spirit why it is so important because if the spirit of god is with us we are not abandoned we are not deserted we are not alone that's what jesus is trying to tell The sad things happen in Texas about shooting, which is much more difficult to accept and understand for any humans, especially for those families. It is terrible. But still, that's what Jesus says. I'm with you. That means my spirit will guide you through, even in your struggle, even in your grief, even. Uh, in your suffering therefore listen to the spirit pray to him because he is the advocate the one who can strengthen us in all the difficulties of life let's all stand
with faith in God's promises. Let us now present our needs and petitions. For the, for the Holy Catholic Church, for Pope Francis, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are there. For leaders of the world, that they work together to promote the good of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are there. For Elwood that he experiences success during his high school years, and that he carries the love of Christ with him always, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for those who have helped Elvin achieve excellence at St. Peter and Paul School, for his parents, teachers, school staff, and pastors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick of our parish and for all of our friends and Elvin's relatives who may be ill, that they experience God's healing presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our families and parish community who have died, and are now in God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In honor of Elvin and all 2022 graduates, we ask for God to bless them with happiness in their new endeavors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask the Lord. And listen in kindness to the intercessions of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yeah. 
may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by what the way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed with the oblation of his body. He brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exults in your Christ, and even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they a claim.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis of Pope and William of Bishop and all the clergy. Lord Jesus, in this Mass we present to you all men who is graduating from our S.S. Peter Paul School. Bless him abundantly. As you grew in knowledge and wisdom when you were 12 years old, fill him also with knowledge and wisdom and the strength of you. As you are guided with faith lost years in the school, let him take that faith throughout his life and wherever he goes. With your spirit, the advocate, guide him always. Give him great success in his future and also bless his family. Fill them with love. Fill them with your providence and bless everyone in the family with loving relationship and happiness. We pray for all people who attend this Mass. May your spirit come upon them, filling their hearts and house with the joy of life. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who preach you throughout the ages, we may merit to be who has eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
Well, as most of you know, I'm not a woman of a lot of words. So, keep the short and sweet. Alvin, Senza wrote at St. Peter Paul School, but not officially. Unofficially. You're always welcome to come back and visit us. You're always welcome to stop in and, you know, inspire us more with your, your laughs and your jokes and whatever you wish to do. Stop in and visit us, okay? The kids love you, a little, especially those littles. Okay, so Alvin, you're our only graduate this year. What do you think about that? My son did the same thing. He was the only graduate at St. Bonham School. But it was okay. He was in his own class. He was the smartest. He was the funniest. He was everything. And that's what you are. You are your own person. Stay who you are and remember to keep God as your guide, okay? All right. So for our eighth grade graduate, Mr. Alvin Gerak. And we also have um, Alvin's Bible. This is from the St. Peter Paul PCCW, the Parish Council of Catholic women, all of our eighth, eighth graders receive a Bible at graduation. Keep this at your side. There are places you can go in your Bible that will inspire you, that will help you. You find those places. In fact, I'll provide that for you. And you can look in here and God will have words for you that will help you through.